Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this episode, I'm going to start somewhere new. I saved an exit from the last episode, so I'm still in the case system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my weapons. I haven't actually done that yet, so it might be a good idea. And I think in this episode, I am definitely going to be doing the floor. I'm putting it off too much. I got my mouse working again, so it's much easier to get the precision. Upgrades keep getting removed, it's annoying. A max damage on upgraded stick. That should be uh, 29, because I'll be fixing it eventually, just don't know when. Upgrade the club. I wonder how much damage I can get out of this bad boy. Another four more. And place teeth on the rest of it. I haven't got many teeth. <laughs> place teeth on the teeth. Here we go. <laughs> it needs some caps and crowns. <laughs> I'm a dentist now. Nice dental work. This thing's going to swing slow as crap. But look at that. Damage just seems to be maxed out. Oh, look at that. See, when I hear people say that the club's got the highest damage, it's like... Exact same as the modern axe. You see the modern axe has got a lot more speed. It just doesn't have the max block, but uh, max block. You don't really need it. Nine is enough. There's a skull in there. Oh, it's like a dead body carcass thing. I'm gonna clear these few trees so I can increase my vision. So I can see what's coming and going. Oh, I destroyed my dead full trap. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to replace that one. Because that was very useful. And get rid of this tree as well. I think I'm only gonna go with maybe one more. I don't know. Keep it away from the zip lines because I don't want mutants going near it. Mutants could kill it. I never tested if happy birthday traps could block patrol routes. Would be interesting to see. Um, I'm gonna place it over this path. I have a feeling they'll cross over it. Though we will see. In the meantime, load my logs up. Quick, before the other refugees come. Get off my trap. Ooh. Three down. That was rather easy. Get his attention. I love the slingshot. It's like one of my new favorite weapons. See, aggro and he'll charge. Every time. Works so well. Ah, oh, come on, don't hit me in the back. Good. Ah, oh, come on. This is working all too well. Come on. How many is that? Seven. Seven in like a minute and a half. One trap. You can keep your happy birthday trap, boys. <laughs> I've got Mr. Deadfall looking after me. They're just too cheap. Three logs and three sticks. And look at this. It's chaos. It's gonna place some lights. You see skulls. Probably turn my back and they'll despawn. Gives me a shit. There we go. Alright, good thing I stored the bone armor before. There we go. I don't know why they make skulls despawn. Literally, if you turn your back, they'll despawn. Not literally, but... Like, for instance, I'll show you. Skulls are there. I'll go place one in here for the red paint. Just so a bit of light helps see. Go over, have a look at my skulls, and they're gone. Bitch. Uh, here. Drop. Oh. That actually got me, and it flung me around. So, the trees fell the wrong way. I thought I was way. Maybe it rolled my way. That would have been it. That's a tad annoying. Sneaky lizard. Oh, these lizards, um, they're modelled after a goanna. 
which if you don't know is a very large lizard in Australia. Not dangerous, not that big, but there's been stories and I don't know if they're true. The old folk tales. Apparently if you stand still, goannas can run and climb up you because they think you're a tree and they climb up on top of your head and if you try to pull them out, they dig their claws into your skull. <laughs> you're not gonna have a good time. I would believe that it has happened before, but the chances of you coming across a goanna are pretty rare. Let's see out in the country. But yeah, they're, I don't know, meter and a half long. They're no Komodo dragon, but you wouldn't want to mess with them. I think I placed the correct lizard on the wiki underneath the name. Just check it out if you want to see what it is. Here is a very dangerous spot to build. I wouldn't recommend it. It's a major traffic area for cannibals. Ooh. See? I wonder if I can move it. Ooh. <laughs> You're very ambitious. I shouldn't be doing this. Okay. Oh, what was that? I must have kicked it. Don't mess with me, boy. Uh, there was death toll of this traps up to about nine and last one was up to about 20. Two traps and like 30 kills, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Oh, time to head back over. See how my thirst is red? I'm gonna take damage if it hits the red. I don't know how much though. Let's have a look. Ooh. Wow, that's potent. There you go. Don't make the same mistakes as I just did. Oh, you could have tripped it. Probably not, you would have taken out about fucking eight of them. Silly deer. The list of deer still spawning up here. I was a little bit worried that I was going to block them out. I've been coming down here occasionally to get fish. Not a bad little spot. This is hard survival, so there's about three fish each time I come here. Takes ages to respawn. It's usually a save and exit. Better solution. Ah, landed where the red paint is. I'll also grab it. Such an odd place for that one. Doesn't make much sense. I'm not complaining. Always aloe here. I swear to God there's always aloe here. Can't even use it. Need to make some cabinets so I can start dumping some of my stuff. In due time though. Okay, time to do the floor. Now it's essentially doing the <laughs> the exact same thing as I was doing in that special episode, the one with the zip lines and the flat floors. So just making really short uh, floors. And what it does is it flattens them. So you don't jump around and bounce around when you're walking on them. It's a godsend. So you're just making basically very long rectangles, really thin ones. And always start them from the same uh, foundation as well. Otherwise it's going to be uneven because these are not on the same different heights so it would look different. You don't want that. So always start it from the same one. Um, here, sometimes it can be tricky. What you need to do is Make sure it's square because uh, my custom foundations are quite long. I'm probably going on an angle when I'm sticking them in. So I need to pay attention to that. Okay, this one's not wanting to work for some reason. Keeps going on an angle. This is what I'm talking about. It's a real pain in the ass. I'm just going to start again. There we go. Finally, can't believe I'm on the second one. I already want to do my head in. I'm probably going to cut a lot of this because this is just the same thing over and over and over again. There's something I want to say. I'm so glad I don't have to do it anymore. And that is 
update videos. I used to hate doing them so much. They were the bane of doing this game. The re I originally started doing them just narrating them and I was happy with that, but then Broadband stopped doing them. And Broadband makes the best update videos. All of it, he does better ones than me. But holy crap. I just hated doing it. I couldn't find a format I liked. It was just painful. I should have just stuck to narrating them, but people kept asking me to do proper video ones and so I just caved. But I'm so glad I don't have to do them again. I don't mind doing one for the big release because obviously that's very important. And I probably will put a lot of effort into that one. Also, to give some context to the last video about the idea of me not playing any other games, that's a probably, though it's a most likely. I don't want to start another game like I did with The Forest. I went above and beyond for this game. As you've seen with my channel, and then I completely fixed the wiki. I probably spend about the same amount of time making videos as I did on the wiki. I just don't know if I would do that again if I picked up another game. Because I like to provide educational videos. I'm not really much into the old Let's Plays because all Let's Plays are being done to death. I Even mine... I'm trying to keep it unique by, you know, offering a bit of more of a calming experience. So it's a bit more relaxing because most Let's Plays are very high energy and there's good, you know, people like that kind of thing. Personally, I don't. I've never really watched Let's Plays. They just didn't really stick with me. It's why it took me so long to start playing a Let's Play. I don't know if you've been following me for a while. It took me a long time before I started doing Let's Play videos. But then I realized that it adds a bit of a journey element. And it's a bit of shared experience between me and you as a viewer. You get to see my journey as it's going along. Whereas before, I was just doing videos that were tutorials, so there was no real progression. And the thing is, and I learned this, this was big when it comes to the forest, is that when you build something as a tutorial, you're not living the actual build. You're just building it using creative mode for a tutorial. But when you're actually playing the game and using it properly, that's a different experience. So like defense is something I've never really touched on because honestly, I don't know because to test defense, you need to play it for like a good 30 days and see how the cannibals and mutants go with it. But yeah, now I'm just rambling though. I've also been working on a video. I mentioned it quite a few times in the last episode is um, playing version 0.28. That's the version that the dynamite cannibal was released and he was taken out in version 0.28D, so he didn't even last a full whole update. Uh, I've been playing, I finally got him this spawn. It just took ages because there's no console commands. It's just been real pain, real grind. Though he is, I can understand why he was taken out. He was throwing dynamite like once every five seconds and it's just like normal dynamite. He'll take down your defensive walls in no time. I'll do a proper video on it i got to test what he does to houseboats and tree houses to see if he's going to be brought back. Hopefully he is, but they probably need to give him something a little less than dynamite. Maybe reduce the damage or he only has one stick of dynamite. I don't know. They have to do something because otherwise you can build in the sky like I've done in videos. and The game needs a bit more danger, like a flying mutant, one that can come visit your base. I was thinking the other day, they need a behemoth mutant something that's incredibly large because subnautica has the leviathan and it's actually really unique i would say the word is probably it's not the it's not the best word but when you think of subnautica a lot of people will mention the leviathan because he's unkillable he's absolutely huge and you've just got to stay out of his way and i'm wondering if they put something like that in the forest if it would work providing he doesn't go near your base maybe i don't know they need something a bit bigger than Armsies and Virginias. Some of their spawns really late. See how it goes. You never know what we might get in version 1.0. Okay, that's finished. Finally. Now I'm just gonna have to check it to make sure it's all good. Hmm, there's one that's sticking out here. Hopefully I can cancel the right one. Ah, looks like two down. <laughs> Kill me. Oh my god, just fucking cancel. Fuck. Oh my god, I just cancelled like five just to get to one. Oh, don't make mistakes, boys and girls. 
This is not worth it. How did that one over there? Uh, Alright, that's all fixed. I'm going to go get some logs now. Okay, time to start building them. It's going to be at 200 logs. I wonder how many crane loads it's going to be. I still haven't counted how many's in here. This is really tricky to place them. I don't know why, but sometimes I can place it really far away and sometimes it just won't let me place it at all. I'm really starting to gain weight. Up to 207. Oh, I'll sort it out later. Okay, that's one full crane load done. Um, instead of loading these up, I might just go into a quick farm. Break it up a bit. Here we go. Only got three trees of that one. Send a Mac. Let's quickly run in and do a quick raid. Get the dynamite. Here's the dynamite. Uh, looks like I got three or four of that one. Oh, berries are respawning. That's good to know. Send these ones down. Wish there was someone on the other end catching and then I could just keep doing this. Why won't anyone play with me? Just kidding. Okay, two cannibals here. And two dead cannibals here now. I can hear mutants. Oh, I've done three loads. I think that's enough for now. Load them up. Okay, so I put some more from the, the other racks I had because I didn't completely fill it up from the load I got. It wasn't a very big load. Get it? <laughs> okay, now it's just to finish it off. I was thinking about using a log cart, but I'm going to get my athleticism up this way. Be better. Finish the lights here. Might as well. Little cave garden lights. And it's done. Flat floor base. Looks good. I'm happy with this. It's what I want to go with. But I've got to figure out how I'm going to build with this. I've just got a foundation basically now. And it's pretty boring looking. It's just a big square. So I'm going to have to be quite creative. But that's a story for another episode. And the next one I probably will start building on this because I need to start making rooms and start placing some storage stuff because I'm just placing my storage stuff on the grass and it's wasteful because I'll have to demolish it later on. So I've got to work something out. Gonna work on some good furniture techniques to really maximize storage in this build. See how I go. But if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.